Let's get out of here, Vernon. Have you lost your mind? You wanted to kill a king, not a cockroach. I won't forgive him! Want to be like those murderers you chase because of this son of a bitch? Kill Henselt, and you'll aid the Kingslayer's agenda. Let's go. Why should we spare him? He won't rest until he finds us. Kill me, and my people will find you. He'll need to look long and hard. Let's get out of here before I change my mind. You've got balls, Vernon. You proved it. Not when I needed them most. You had a choice. Kill the defenseless Henselt, or battle yourself. You chose the tougher opponent, and won. I may regret that to the end of my days. Only we know what happened here. Well, and Henselt. The sooner we forget it, the better. I'll erase it from my memory. Sheila teleported herself to Loch Muin. Where there's Sheila, there's Letho. The murderers are gathering for their peace talks. We have to be there. Sheila de Tanserville. I'd sensed from the start that some dark mystery lay behind that cold countenance. Following the demise of the Council and Conclave, there was no one left to keep the mages in line. But Regicide? Why? What was this all about? It seemed these questions would be answered at Loch Muin, an ancient city amidst mountains. The remnants of the civilization of the Vrans, whose dusk had come long ago. And you would be right to ask, why did you not set out for Loch Muin, Master Dandelion? Your humble servant and chronicler was forced to flee the Pontar Valley, as he very well might have paid with his life for his heroic stand against King Henselt. And to allow oneself to be humbly slaughtered, consigning to oblivion this account of incredible events, would be a grave transgression against the arts and letters. Yet forever feeling a vast shared responsibility for the fate of the North, I dispatched to Loch Muin my faithful and capable friend, Geralt of Rivia. Have I mentioned his disdain for politics? Well, it was at Loch Muin where he could finally give vent to it. Has Radovid's messenger been by? Yes, sir. And what did he say? Tamaria cannot survive. The kingdom will be divided. The nobles are riled. Constable Natalis stands on shaky ground. Hmm. <laughs> The loyal old Natalis will get kicked in the ass. How predictable. And they nearly reached an agreement, but without Voltaire's daughter, it didn't work out. Perfect. Are the quarters ready? There is a little problem. Then we must look at this problem. There's no door. We can't lock her in a doorless cell. I can see that, you fool. Out of my way! Uncle Deathmold will cast a tiny spell on your little house. Vasa Anem. We won't let that naughty Natalis get you. <sighs> Clear up in here. This is Loch Muin, not a bloody pigsty. Geralt. Marshal Rorpenek was a cruel, bloodthirsty prick, true. But the times were different. He had his men murder every last elf in Loch Muin. For years, Jorveth and his ilk have been using that banner to wipe their asses clean of the shit they do. In wartime, a commander's forced to make all kinds of decisions. It's as simple as that. Yeah, and I'm sure it lay really heavily on Rorpenek's conscience. Bollocks again. I've already admitted he was a prick. Are you defending the Enshe? They've got barrels of blood on their hands as well. With the Vrans gone, we had to safeguard this source of the power, safeguard this historic city. Huh, <laughs> elven drivel. 
Heaps of lizard-like bones were found in nearby caves, all bearing traces of sword cuts. Uh, I think what you will. I'm more interested in the city's current inhabitants. Why am I worried you're going to do something really stupid once we get there? Above all, I'll find the cure to my suffering. Its name is Death Mold. Careful you don't step in some serious shit while looking for that cure. He will feel death consuming him. You're counting wyverns before they've hatched. <laughs> He's no wyvern. He's a rat with no sewer left to hide in. The Blue Stripes were more than a fighting force. I selected and trained those men myself. True, there were good days and bad. They weren't even given a chance to die. Damn it! lost your king, Vernon. Don't forget why you embarked on this mission. I haven't. If Letho and Sheila are in the room, they'll never know. This is the last place I'd expect to see Knights of the Flaming Rose. They're here with Radovid. After losing their foothold in Temeria, they rebuilt their position at the Redanian court. You best stay out of sight. You never know with those bigots. Yeah, we also had a little disagreement recently. They could be holding a grudge. I'll explain that your presence in Loch Muin is necessary. What now? What can we expect to see in the city? Separate camps, buffer zones, and frequent patrols. Well, that's how it should be organized if those mages from the Conclave have any sense. Ah, another area of your expertise. The Peace of Sintra was signed on April the 2nd, and all around was quiet, calm, and orderly. If you don't count Hensel's roars, and the all-night festivities of the Mahakam Volunteer Army, and the common folk were positively thrilled with the parade that followed. Yet, not one of those fuckers even knew that I, and a few others like me, spent a week Poring over the city map and devising a way to keep those crowned idiots separate, just in case one decided to deal the next blow in a long standing feud. In any case, I hope to see something similar here. Relax. The mages want royal gold. They'll make sure all the sources of financing remain alive and present, at least until the inevitable quarrel over the Pontar Valley breaks out. Well, we'll see if there is indeed a way where there's a will. If we're separated, we'll meet up again in the main square. Fine.
medallions vibrating. Halt! Who goes there? Vernon Roach and Geralt of Rivia, in the service of Temeria. Faltest's killer in the service of Temeria? Faltest's killer is in Loch Muin. Geralt of Rivia will help me capture him. I couldn't give a pig's ass who killed Faltest, but this bastard raised his hand against the Order, and I'll not let him pass. In that case, I'll walk in over your dead body, brother. Bear in mind that peace negotiations are underway behind those walls. I'll have no blood spilt here. Why are the Knights of the Order of the Flaming Rose here? We're here on the invitation of His Majesty King Radovid. Radovid can invite anyone he wants to Redania. Problem is, this isn't Redania. Questioning the King's will. If Radovid invited you here, why are you encamped outside the city? We're not part of the official delegation. Well, we're on our way to an official audience with King Radovid. He's expecting us. So stand aside. Looks like Radovid doesn't Greetings. believe the peace talks will end peacefully. You can be sure of one thing. Not a soul is to be trusted in this city. Not a soul to be I trusted any you. time, this anywhere, is. period. We need to assess the situation. Whoever stationed the knights at Loch Muin's gates is likely to know the most and to have the upper hand. I'm going to the Redanian camp. If you want to look around, I'll meet you near Radovid's headquarters. All right. I don't believe you killed Foltest. I didn't. But a bounty is a bounty. I'm sure you understand. As a professional, <laughs> it's nothing personal. <sighs> One more windbag. Halt! Who goes there? Vernon Roach and Geralt of Rivia, in the service of Temeria. Faltest's killer in the service of Temeria? Faltest's killer is in Loch Muin. Geralt of Rivia will help me capture him. I couldn't give a pig's ass who killed Faltest, but this bastard raised his hand against the Order, and I'll not let him pass. In that case, I'll walk in over your dead body, brother. Bear in mind that peace negotiations are underway behind those walls. I'll have no blood spilt here. Why are the Knights of the Order of the Flaming Rose here? We're here on the invitation of His Majesty King Radovid. Radovid can invite anyone he wants to Redania. Problem is, this isn't Redania. Questioning the King's will. 
If Radovid invited you here, why are you encamped outside the city? We're not part of the official delegation. Well, we're on our way to an official audience with King Radovid. He's expecting us. So stand aside. Looks like Radovid doesn't believe the peace talks will end peacefully. You can be sure of one thing. Not a soul is to be trusted in this city. Not a soul to be trusted any time, anywhere. I remember you. We need to assess the situation. Whoever stationed the knights at Loch Muin's gates is likely to know the most and to have the upper hand. I'm going to the Redanian camp. If you want to look around, I'll meet you near Radovid's headquarters. I don't believe you killed Foltest. I didn't. But a bounty is a bounty. I'm sure you understand. As a professional, <laughs> it's nothing personal. <sighs> One more windbag. One man, damn it!
Oh, it's a lovely day today. Let me guess. Behold, the mighty Numa! And I am his apprentice. Way to spoil my fun. The mighty Numa breaks the necks of bulls, bends iron bars, defeats everyone. Numa. His secret lies in the mushrooms and herbs cultivated in Elanda and picked in the mornings by virgin priestesses. They can be yours for a very reasonable price. Hells bells, who do we have here? Witcher Geralt, the seeker of square coins. What do you want? Last time Zivik stuck his nose in. This time, he's not around. Fight! Know what that tension means, you fool? Hi. Where are you from? <coughs> You've got shot out of the brains, you bumpkin. At ease! <coughs> we all serve the Emperor, be it in Nilfgaard or here. Shemper of Fire! We serve him faithfully and effectively. If anyone gives me reason without this, I shall skin him alive. I Commander. Do well by the Emperor. I'll get you, snitch. Don't try this again. Understood, ladies? Long live the Emperor! The Emperor! Formation! Forward march! I'm Geralt, Brass of Bannard. I remember you from Thanad. I believe I saw you in Oxenfurt, too. Seems we only ever meet on Elvenland. Indeed. But I suspect you're not here to chat about Elven ruins. Actually, I'm here because of your weapon expertise. I'm no expert. You're the best swordsmith among mages. I'm more interested in the cultural relics of other races, actually. I'm going to need a solid cultural relic in my hand. I guess the circumstances require haste. Shatter your towers and crystal balls, break your wands and burn your hats, turn away the black cat.
It's a brazen attack. King My Rabbit wife. will learn of this. Rabbit, you idiot! The audacity! Pull yourself together! Greetings. Morning, Commander. Company fall in. Tension! Know what that tension means, you fool? Aye, sir. Where are you from? Ready for your chat with Radovid. No reason to delay it. Follow me then. From Verka, Commander. You've got shot us for brains, you bumpkin. Aye, sir. At ease! Halt! We're here to meet King Radovid. Have you been granted an official audience? We have information about the Kingslayers. Everyone knows the killer is the Witcher from Rivia. Then everyone is wrong. Not my concern. I cannot risk placing the King of Redania in harm's way. We bring Radovid news that will strengthen his position during the talks. Care to risk his wrath? Besides, this camp is swarming with soldiers. We'd have to be stupid or suicidal to attack Radovid. Hmm. Pass, then. 
if your news is so important. But one word from the king and you'll hang. Both of you. Don't you worry about us. Tameria stands little chance of surviving if Radovid has made terms with Kit. Even less if he's made a pact with Nilfgaard. He and the Emperor could divide the entire north between them. I'd take pleasure in seeing Kitwin picked apart. But they'd start with the country deepest in chaos, so you'd best hope nothing of that sort has happened. He's a stubborn colt, wouldn't listen, just as I thought. I remember when he rode to Vizima, which was engulfed by a rebellion. Didn't want advisors, no. Coltest and Did you request an audience with the king? Yes. The king will receive you. Geralt of Rivia. Your Majesty. As usual, you turn up where and when you're least expected. And in such company. I never thought they'd make a soldier out of you. Associating with military men doesn't make one a mercenary, Your Grace. I'm no soldier. I'm here to settle some scores. The world has changed greatly since we met those few months ago. Tameria stands at the brink of civil war. Kedwin has taken the Ponsar Valley by force, and a Nilfgaardian delegation plays a prominent role at the summit of the Northern Kingdoms. Voltest and Demavend are both dead. Though it seems we were signing treaties just yesterday. I've come here for help, Your Majesty. Wait, Witcher. Were it not for you, Hensalt would have perished at the hands of an assassin. Am I right? I killed a would-be assassin. Pure coincidence, I just happened to be there. Things like that oft seem to happen to you. Enough about Hensalt. You said you needed help, Witcher. Tell me more. What's the delegation from Nilfgaard doing here? Hensult invited them. Shillard Fitzestelen would never miss an opportunity like this one. He'll come to the talks and stage his favorite drama. Why did you bring the Knights of the Order here, Your Majesty? The Order of the Flaming Rose is here to ensure that the talks remain peaceful. We wish to avoid a second Thanet. If Temeria is in turmoil, then who has arrived to represent it? Constable Natalis, the hero of Brenner, which is good. His presence is like a slap on Shillard's face delivered by the North. Has King Henselt arrived? He's been talking about his great victory at Vergen ever since. Sheila de Tanzerville is behind the murderers that hit Tamaria, Edern, and Kedwin. How do you know? I don't have any proof, but it's her. You've got to believe me, Your Majesty. Let's say I believe you. It all makes sense. Shillard Fitzestelen warned me about a plot. Apparently, Triss Merigold confessed to him that the sorceresses had set up a secret lodge. Triss is working with Shillard? She's been detained as a suspect. 
Shillard believes the sorceresses of Nilfgaard were also part of the conspiracy. Luckily, the entire amphitheater is under a spell that quells any magic. Otherwise, no one would dare go near all those mages. Well, the talks beckon. Everyone wants to see Temeria's bitter end. What do you mean by that, Your Majesty? The nobles are rebelling in Vizima. Lacking a ruler, they simply want to divide the kingdom into provinces. Temeria separates the north from Nilfgaard. In the hands of local barons and warlords, it will be nothing more than a means for the Nilfgaardian cavalry to gain momentum. Henselt wants Redania and Kedwin to partition it. For shame! I have no choice, unless we help each other, Witcher. Anais, the daughter of Louisa and Foltest, lives still. After Foltest's death, the Lavalettes came to prominence. Louisa's uncle, Baron Orville, became one of the most important people in Temeria. He wanted to see Anais on the throne, but Vizima was still in turmoil. They sent her to Loch Muin anyway to declare her queen before the entire north. During the journey, the girl was kidnapped. Arian Lavalette asked me to use my connections to find his sister, which I did. My people tell me Anais is here in Loch Muin, in Deathmold's hands. I cannot mount an armed attack on the Kedwenis. It would be tantamount to declaring war, and we have gathered here to maintain peace. A lone witcher and a former soldier. That would be a different matter. Bring me Anais, Geralt, and I'll salvage a united Temeria and punish those whose hands are stained with the Temerian King's blood. What about Sheila? Easy, Witcher. I have ways to deal with impertinent sorceresses. I have managed to tame Philippa Eilhart. Why shouldn't I do so with Sheila de Tanzerville as well? The girl is most important, Witcher. I denounce our engagement and make her Queen of Redania and Temeria. The nobles of Vizima would greet her on bended knee, and the North would emerge stronger than ever. I must attend these talks, Geralt. Time is short. Bring me the girl, the two of you. Men without country or commander. Renegades that no one seems to have taken into account. I, in turn, promise that Shilla de Tanzerville will pay for her deeds. I shall punish her with fire and steel. I'm counting on you, Witcher. Don't let me down. An alliance with Redania is our only chance at preserving Temeria's independence. It's still risky. Anais. She's the key. I still wonder about Boosie's death. The boy would have had a stronger claim to the throne. Maybe Anais can tell us something. It's high time we visited our old friend, Deathmold. The Emperor's men hold Triss. They'll get everything they can out of her, after which she'll be dispensable. If it's between the Sorceress's life and Temeria's future, then I've no choice. I'm sorry. This is no place to talk. Let's wait till we're beyond the gate. Oh, hey! Bear, crow, summit white.
Just the person I'd be looking for were I not forced to seek Anais Lavalette. You have much to explain, Brigida Papabrock. Oh no. You'll not pin this on me. I trusted you and you sent me into a den of vipers. Vipers! Another vess. This is no time for pleasantries, Geralt. Calm yourself, Brigida. You were to watch Falter's children. I saw nothing dangerous in the task. Obviously I was wrong, but I need your help. Anais has been kidnapped. Boosie is likely dead. I need to know how this happened. I need to know the details. You knew well what you were getting me into. You know that entire rotting bunch. The Count, the Baron. Not half as well as you do, my dear. Who were those men? Not so fast, Roach. I have been hiding in this city for three days, scurrying about like a rat. They're hunting me. I'll not let you leave me here. What do you propose? Escort me out of the city, to the river. What will that give you? I expected I would need to fend for myself. I've secured passage. Take me there, and I will tell you all. It's a long way. You've a traitor in your camp, Roach. Perhaps more than one. What happened to Faltist's bastards is no series of coincidences. It's the result of a clever, treacherous game. Damn it all! Geralt, I need to look to Anais. Learn how we're to get to her. But Brigida might know what happened to Bufsi. Thus far, we've heard nothing but rumors. Take her to the river. All right, Roach. I'll help you this one last time. I'll search for a back way into the Kedwini camp. You're forgetting. I came here for Triss. Whatever you decide to do later, so be it. But a traitor in the Temerian camp threatens us all. Escort Brigida. Learn what you can. I'd thank you, Roach, if you weren't such a shit. I'm counting on you, Geralt. Brigida must get to her destination safely. Good luck, Roach. Which way are we headed? We shall leave Lop Muin through the Order's camp. We won't be bothered there. Then we'll descend the mountain path and go onto the river. Who knows what we'll find? Expecting some Geralt the Does Rivian. it matter, Witcher? You did mention the Vipers. The Count and the Baron. Maravel and Blessed be the oh, eternal men. fire! Important in the Temerian camp. Too early to pry, Witcher. I'll not let you pick my brain and abandon. The main path leads to the right. That's where they're likely to be waiting. Roach would say they'd be waiting along both paths. Roach, Roach, Roach. You're with me, not him. And I decide for myself. I've agreed to meet someone on the riverbank. We'll go through the wood. Calm thus far. Your dear Roach seems to have been wrong. You two have a history. Do I have it wrong? He asked a favor of me. I was to stay with Faltist's children, watch them, travel with them if necessary. Child's play, the bastard called it. That's how I wound up in the caravan transporting the children to Loch Muin for the summit. <laughs> yeah, that clearly went sour. Tell me more. Soon enough. We've just got to make it through the forest. It's a short way to the river beyond that. It should be calm. Let's go. It's not far now. Redlin awaits down by the river, at the end of this path. Is Redlin another of Roach's contacts? No, a smuggler. I'd be looking for another way out if he were Roach's man. Stay behind me. 